trap for Taurus. What's the guidance? So we've got wedding here. Soulmate, love yourself first, healing family issues and attraction. So this love yourself first. This is you coming into peace with a lot of your changes in life. Um, for a while, I've been feeling a new energy in your life. I feel that could be this wedding um, um, energy as well. But this is combination for some of you. This Your past person, this queen of wands, whoever is not willing to let go is someone you've been with for a long time. Some of you were married to this person. Some of you, you just have children with this person. Um, but we do have heart to heart conversation. So I feel the reaction that I'm feeling is your person, this past energy wanting to heal situations here maybe they're going to want to clear the air um i do feel for some of you is a return um now you, you don't have to obviously go for this person because obviously there is an it's it's a past energy but the point of healing family issue, it, this is a pivotal point it's a reaction and what i'm saying is it's gonna fade so you know where you are you know that you've been wanting to attract different. Your love, you've, you've been taking care of yourself and you've been wanting to attract different in your life, which is this soulmate, a new person. This is, I don't feel like this is um, the same people here. Uh, but this is a reaction to how you, they're responding to how you've been taking care of yourself. And unfortunately, you've got to walk through it, but... Let's see what's the energy around this interference. Um, what is the energy around this interference spirit? Oof, that was pretty intense. So let's see what they want to say. Final straw, overlord, breaking point. Yeah, this person is in a breaking point. They've reached their limits and this is why it's a reaction. So they're going to reach a breaking point, which they know it's, it's almost like their final... This, it's either do or die in this situation for this person. Um, all right, what else, spirit? Interference. What's the energy for this person? For Taurus. One more. Okay, so yes. Wow. Heart song and heart fog. And I feel, you know, what's interesting about this, these two energies. I'm going I'm to call out the other energies in a bit. But these, this is you and your past, Taurus. You're in this heart song, I feel. You're in this inner knowing. You have intuition now. You've gained understanding. You're in a place where you have... Your heart is singing again because in the past you were fogged. Your person now is in your past energy. This comeback from this person um, is in a heart fog, right? They're blocked emotions. They're cluttered in their mind. They have, they're sending mixed signals probably with the way they're reacting again. They're conflicted, right? Inconsistency. They don't know what to do. Conflicted. This is a breaking point. There's a lot going on um, in decisions and memories, right? Bittersweet, dwelling, reminiscing. Of course they are, right? They're in a very heart fog, reminiscing, regret kind of energy. What do you have? Beautiful. Yes. Spiritual connection. This is why you're in this soulmate. This is your heart song. Your spiritual connection here with this person. You're in a deep love, soulmates, and unity. You can't make this up. But what do we have in the back? This is your other person. The influence, right? The, the influences. Dark attachment, third party. So this dark attachment is just having a hard time um, really letting go. I'm going to put all of these because I feel this is... Ugh, and there is some of you masculine energy... Um, this is either you, um, Taurus, or your person. So some of you, it's a masculine energy um, or a feminine energy. I did see feminine energy earlier. So this is two people. This to me screams the two people um, going through this separation, this divorce. 
um, this transition. It's a pivotal moment. It doesn't even matter. Remember, it's a reaction. And it, it, it too shall pass. All right. So let's see what else Spirit wants to add to this energy for you, Taurus. So first energy is spiritual strength. Nine of Wands. This is going to be hard. And like I said, it's going to test you. So be careful with, it's a trying time. It's going to test you, but this is also learning. You're getting understanding from this experience. Yep, patience and planning. For some of you, it's financially, right? So there's a lot of patience and planning that has to go into waiting this out. Justice, justice will be served here. Um, so that's part of the patience, moving on, progression. You know, it. It that's... Stick to the goal. The goal is to to peacefully, right, with the Six of Swords, peacefully, mentally move on. And what do we got? Heartache and loss. I feel this is their resistance to change and their unwillingness to move on as well. So four, we have Three of Swords and Six of Swords. So you're wanting to move on. They're not wanting to let go. Here you have your past energy, memories of love. Yep, they're thinking about the lovers, this connection. They're thinking about this energy. Um, oh, this. They're in. They're reminiscing. They're reminiscing of. Ooh, and there's a lot of regret. That's the energy I'm feeling. So let's get more on the spiritual strength here, spirit. Give me more on this nine of wands. The star. You know, this is about your wishes, Taurus. So you've got to stick to your goal here. And that's what I'm saying, the end goal. Focus on the end goal here. Don't react. You have, you, there is more coming for you. And this is about staying focused. What do we have in the bottom? Six of Swords again. Yes, the end goal. Six of Swords. This is the end goal. It's You're going to have some losses, but... And it's not going to be easy because prior to the Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. So this, there might be some mind games. There might be, um, you know, some, uh, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's just something that ugh, I feel some, I just feel this dreading energy, to be honest. Okay, so let's get more on the Seven of Pentacles. Why the patience and planning? So let's see what you got to be patient for here. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Why is this patience and planning? These cards are so big for my hands. They're so beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. First card I'm seeing here is the Four of Swords. And again, it's a waiting game. So you just have to kind of be mentally in this peaceful state of mind in order. It's almost a surrendering. I'm picking up a surrendering energy from this four of swords, right? While you're in this waiting game. Five of wands, there, there it goes. There goes a five. It's not going to be easy. There is going to be conflict. Three of cups. And there goes the magician. So this is an alchemization stage, right? So what you're trying to resolve here with the Three of Cups, you're it's you're trying to have a peaceful resolution with this past. Like I said, for some of you, it is a divorce. For some of you, it's something with court where it could be co-parenting with your children. Um, again, we're talking about family. There is some. There's a family dynamic here. Um, that either you or your person are dealing with. Someone here is dealing with this. Um, but this is going to require a lot of understanding. I think your, your soulmate is here, <laughs> two of cups. You know what the goal is. You've got soulmate showing up three times here and you're trying, you're at, your goal is this magician. So you've got to take action and close a past in order to embrace this future um, give me more of this magician. Knight of um, Wands, which again, more action. So it's it's just an action card and I feel initiation. So it, it everything depends on the level of initiation you take and how you go about. Magician is, 
is a transmuter. It's an alchemizer, but it's also very strategic because there is a, a, a higher understanding of the kind of action that needs to be taken. So there's an intellect that comes with magician energy here. Okay, more of this Two of Cups. Five of Wands and the Four of Swords. Again, so you've got Five of Wands showing up. So it's causing some impatience because you probably have a connection and it's causing interference and a waiting period. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Yep, this is some of you are really trying to resolve and just, you know, become single, fully single if it's a divorce. Um, but there, there is conflict to getting here. You know, and this person, I feel like it's just giving you a hard time. This three of cups, un unwilling to resolve. You've got three parties here. So what is this justice? What is this justice? There you go, Taurus. King of Pentacles, which is financially you. You know, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. It's not going to be easy. And there goes that waiting period, Two of Wands. So there's a lot um, that is being negotiated here. There is a waiting game as well. I also feel this is your person's energy where Four of Cups, there's, a, there's that regret energy. Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. They're burdened because they're losing financially here. Um, so there is a hit that's being taken and justice will be served. So someone, you know, it's just how it is. There's a balance, right? Not everyone is happy when there's, there's this kind of energy. So give me more of this King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. So setting yourself free, Ten of Swords. Yeah. There's an energy of needing set free or your person. You need to set free. Someone needs to set themselves free. Um, let me get more on this Ten of Wands. Because we got two ten. So this is obviously clearly speaking of a cycle closing. Yep. And two of Wands again. And Ace of Wands, right? And there goes that jealous Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, yes. Like I told you guys. This Queen of Wands is just angry. And they're trying to stall. They're trying to stall um, whatever is in store for your person or you. You know, they're trying to really prolong, but it's it's coming to an end. You've got two tens here, so they, it doesn't matter. They're going to be in this three of swords. They know what's coming. They know what's coming. They know the ending is here. You are really in this nine of pentacles here, loving yourself, right? That's what nine of pentacles will do. You will take care of yourself. Um, give me more of the six of swords. energy you're showing up very strongly here in your read so we have ace of cups you know what you know where you're going taurus right the 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 goal is your your new spiritual connection whoever is making your heart sing now you've got the ace of cups You've got the nine of swords and the eight of cups so this moving on right you've got your person nine of swords really knowing that you're starting this new beginning again ace of wands it's a is a stalling so you, so this jealous energy i'm feeling with you moving on right hierophant here ten of swords again so this jealousy of moving on from some of you like i said hierophant represents a marriage but this is you taurus you moving on is just very um burden on this person and it's bringing them into this three of swords energy, just unwilling to accept, right? This is a, an, an unwillingness to accept this transition. Here we're on this eight of swords. Wow. Yeah. 
Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. There you go again. King of Pentacles, the shock, which is the tower. Nine of Cups, the King of Swords, your detachment, and the Four of Pentacles. They're, there's a selfish energy from them. They just don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. This person, Eight of is um yeah that nine of swords energy is clarified by all this energy this unwilling to let go what's what's unfolding right we're back to their limit this is their breaking point this is their overload this is a breaking point yep ending here death this is over that's why they're in this three of swords energy um let's see for this heartache we already know what this three of swords give me more on this three of swords energy here spirit three of swords yeah i feel because guys i don't do reversals again temperance uh, to me this is stall stalling right divine timing but also stalling but in reverse this could be very hostile so this person again is not in the best place, right? They're confused, they're in block, there's a lot of cl clutter, hanged man, and there goes the tower, yep. And there goes the three of swords. So it's happening, whether they want it or not, they can't stop it, they're trying to stall with the hanged man. Um, I feel a sense of loneliness with this hanged man, like, it's almost like a shock. They, It's almost, um, I feel like with this hangman and the tower, it's like this person, um, it's like they can't handle what's happening. So again, it's an overload in the mind. It's a breaking point. So it's it's almost like I feel like they're they feel like they can't move. Um, so this is this is guys this person obviously this is not a great energy um but this is how the universe works right when change happens and when spirit wants to clear our way of dark influences because remember you have a dark influence and then you have a spiritual connection they're not the same thing right this, these are not the same people so you're attracting something so much more but what happens is things the crumbling, the, the reaction of, back to the reaction, the reaction to your healing, the reaction to your change, the reaction to the shift of your energy will um, create upheaval in the past. You know, for some of you, this could be a relative. You guys know maybe a family where you're just letting go a lot of things. But getting here is going to be trying, right? Remember the spiritual strength, nine of wands and the star. You know what you want. You're knowing, you know where you're going. The future looks extremely bright here. So you've got to stick to that plan. But while doing that, there will be some upheaval um, to navigate through, but remember it's, it's temporary here, Taurus. So let's see what the blocks are. Where are the blocks? What is the blockages here? Oh my God. Capricorn got the same energy and I've shuffled these cards. So firm, take back your power with positive self-talk. So this is a lot of positive energy that's needed. Yep. Free will. You get to make all of your decisions come from love. This is freeing yourself. You're you're liberating. You're liberating yourself. You're liberating your soul. This is like a cleanse. This is meant to happen. These eclipses are bringing about this change, this ending. But with, with you going to your light usually brings others to their darkness. That's how the souls transition, right? Because you guys know I'm about the soul transition and that's my focus. You know, I focus on our soul's evolution. And this is a soul that is moving towards their authenticity, their light, um, to move away from all the dark influences of their life to something more... Um, 
promising and healthy. So, all right. So this is supposed to be your shadows. What's this person's shadow? So there's an emotional connection with someone else. They're cheating. So this person was a cheater. Manipulation. They put you down, labels, or judges you to attack your self-esteem. So there's probably some manipulation going on. I think this is just the reaction. So again, we're back to the reaction of this person, this interference as you're transitioning, because this is obviously a triggering um, energy for someone on the other end here. Manipulation. They use, they use the situation to make you feel guilty for expressing your concerns in the first place. And then control. They are trying to control you because they don't trust you. So again, this is a control issue this this person obviously a cheater for some of you you know they're they're not alone this is all about making you feel bad so this person obviously if both this feels like an energy of people have moved on and it's just like i said a reaction so they're not it's not this is not an innocent person here we're not dealing with an innocent person this person is doing their thing too on the other end it's just about um control right so cheating the narcissist they cheat to feed their own ego and feel entitled so again it's it's a supply for some of you who are maybe dealing again this is narcissistic reactions right and that's what narcissists are they are dark influences so their their reaction is to manipulate control to to try to get you back into the loop but they're not going to win for sure. Um, so let's see what else we've got here. What guidance for Taurus? Yeah, beautiful. Facing fears. Face your fears to this narcissist. For those who deal with our narcissist, face your fears to any financial, this whatever this um, justice that's being served here, whether it's legalities, you guys, or just an ending mentally, you know, you're running, but you can't hide. It is time to go within and face what you fear. What is holding you back in living your best life? You're the only one who can. It starts with you and ends with you. I also feel this is a triggering for this person where they have to, the avoidance of facing the reality of what's happening is to cling back onto you. So let's see what other guidance. Thank you. Yep, loss. You are allowed to mourn your losses and travel through the process of grief. And this is still, there are stages. There are stages of grief. And this ending, I mean, it will be a celebration, I think, for a lot of you. It would be a major release. But... I feel this is for whoever is definitely the other side here who is going through this three of swords energy and this they've got to travel through it and knowing that everyone has to travel through it individually this is not something that our hands can be held grief is an individual experience no one can hold us no one can feel exactly what we feel so there's a learning that happens in that process and I do feel with this nine of pentacles energy we have here where you've been loving yourself and you've been taking care of yourself here taurus um that you understand what's happening here so if this is your person or this is you because you know it's hard i feel like all my railings have been very intermingled um you're understanding what the other side is going through if this is an ex that's doing to you and interfering with your new connection it's a process and we got to let them go. We've got to just let them go through their motions because they will cling and they will want to keep a loop and, and that's just not necessary. So um, Taurus, I love you. Thank you so much.